video this is part three of the making chart with flask python let's get started and now i'm going to be teaching you how to load the data to this chart basically dynamically through flask and python last video we hard coded this and we made a beautiful graph now let's learn how to do that dynamically let's get started without wasting much of time so the very first thing i need to stop this server because it's annoying right all right, with that, once that is done, I'm gonna go to my app.py and I'm gonna define a route. And before that, I need a couple of import statement. Uh, basically, I need to import JSON, I need to import random, right? Now I'm gonna define a route basically, which is gonna say, uh, give me data. So I'm gonna say app.route. Basically, anyone who goes with this data, uh, data, or let's say temperature route. So basically it's gonna give temperature data, right? So uh, hopefully the spelling is right and the method would be simple get I'm gonna say post all right that with that done now I need to define my function called as temperature uh, right here right so I'm gonna define temperature right uh, don't forget the colon and my temperature um, uh, let's see yeah so basically uh, what I'm gonna do is basically this is a blank empty list I'm gonna mimic I'm gonna show you how to load data dynamically right so for I'm gonna say for I in oops for I in range 1 to 10 uh, temperature dot append random dot random Give me a number from zero to hundred, right? And do it for 10 times. Now I'm gonna define my payload, JSON payload. Temperature, guess what I'm gonna do guys? Of course you guessed it right, that's temperature, right? Now, guess what we need to do? Return, ah, my bad, return. All right, lovely guys, let's test it out whether this works. So I'm right now on my local host, so I'm gonna go on the local host and I should see the chart. Uh, and sure enough, I do see. Now let's go to the route called S-T-E-M-P-E-R-A-T-U-R-E, -E -E -E, temperature, it should give us a data, right? So yeah, we have a beautiful data, that's amazing guys. Now we need to just uh, do an Ajax call, right? Let's get started, so what are we gonna do? Uh, in the last class I taught you about making the functions. I mean, we wrote our object oriented code for writing a simple chart. So now what I need to do. So we have this X data and Y data. Now, instead of doing this, I'm gonna say, I, 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 so my X data is same, my Y data is basically a temperature, right? So what I wanna do is basically, I wanna make a Ajax call. So I'm gonna say dollar, and my route would be, Temperature, hopefully no spelling mistakes. Ah, my bad. Let's see, uh, let me just stop that, it's annoying. So I'm gonna copy this right here, the temperature route, gonna go to index.html. I'm gonna say dot route, uh, the, you know, this one. And let me just refer my notes quickly. Uh, so yeah, I forgot one thing. So should be dollar dot get, right? Because it's a get request, right? Uh, and you know what, uh, let me save this in a variable where data all right looks all right looks good uh, where data is equal to dollar dot get temperature so this is gonna get the temperature data the json data right once we get the json data what we need to do is basically we need to iterate over it and and then dynamically load the graph well it's not that difficult let's see how we can do let me refer my notes so uh yes so what we have what we have to do is request dot get all right so let's say what uh, tm for sense for temp data dot uh, I'm gonna say done is it done uh, yeah so it's a done right so basically this basically tells that whether the request was complete once the uh, the, res the response was complete I'm gonna say a function right so the function basically will do something right so I'm gonna say response inside that right now just to make sure that um, we are getting data so what i'm going to do is basically i'm going to say console dot log right and um i can do is basically remember it's a json data if i showed you right so it should be uh the resp dot and then the temperature t-e-m-p-e-r-a-t-u-r-e -E -E, temperature so this should get the json data right and hopefully if i'm not wrong let me add a print statement here 
All right. So hopefully, uh, spelling mistake. Let's correct that. Don't want to get any errors. All right. That's a very simple stuff. I'm going to let, let's keep the white data. I just want to see, I just want to see whether I'm getting this JSON data, right? Uh, on my console. So let's go to the app dot route. Uh, let's go to my flask app right here. Gonna refresh that. Uh, of course, should I get the same graph? And when I go to the inspect element, my camera is frozen. Ah, that's fine. So if I go to the inspect element, I go to console, and here you can see my JSON data with an array, right? Beautiful, lovely. Please uh, excuse me for my video. It's kind of like a pause right now, but it's fine. Focus on the contents, right? So I say console.log, that's beautiful guys. Now what we need to do is basically this variable, what we did, right? I'm gonna do it inside this, that's it, it's that simple. So uh, uh, my charts x data, y data, remember now your x data is same, but the y data is this, right? Now this should create a graph dynamically, basically whenever I restart my Flask application or refresh it, it should change the value, right? Uh, so let's see that. So Refresh, wow, amazing guys, amazing. Look at this, now it's a dynamically getting data. Amazing, okay, that makes sense. Now someone might ask me, hey, I, it's annoying. You can add a button and then click a button so that the data will refresh on your graph. Uh, another option, one uh, can be basically in the HTML itself, uh, you can add, um, I don't know how many of you know this, uh, there is something called as refresh or something. All right, I'm gonna get back to that. Uh, let me switch to my screen. I'm gonna go to Flask practice. Just wanna refer my notes. I'm gonna show you one cool stuff that you can do instead of pressing the refresh button. Uh, let me see, I have that code, DHT sensor. Uh, I remember because I, I, did, I, I, I did this before. So uh, if I am not wrong, it should be there in my base.html and it's just one line of syntax. So it's basically automatically refreshes your application after a set interval of time. So give me one sec, um, I'm gonna show you that. All right, so the code is there on my other window, but that's fine, I can read it at least. Oh yeah, I got it. So it should be this line right here. So let me show you. Now you know you don't have to even do that, right? So I'm gonna paste a line right here. So meta equals to HTTP equivalent refresh and the content is five. So five means refresh after every five seconds, right? So if I just restart and just like magic, let's see what happens. So right here, if I just uh, turn my flask app. So yeah. now I'm not touching the application after every five seconds, it should restart. So let's see one. So here you can see one, two, three, four, five, refresh. There you go, that's it. All right, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, do give a like. If you have any more questions, please list them in the comment section below. By the way, the code is there on my GitHub account, so make sure to check that out. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions, please let me know. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Uh, keep coding, keep learning, um, and see you guys in the next video where we would be plotting live graph now. So that's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.